Hello everybody, Michael O'Grady here um, and uh, you join us in part four. We've just finished part three where we looked at layout. Uh, what I didn't really do was um, change anything so let's just uh, make that 900, maybe make that uh, 1000 pixels wide. So in background part four it seems that we can have um, background patterns which we can apply gradients to or we can have images and textures which we can apply glares to. Okay. Um, maybe it's the selection I've chosen but uh, some of these combinations don't work uh, together. So let's just have a look at background. So we're, we're changing this bit uh, here. So if you click on there um, click on the outside it comes to background anyway. So let's have a look at changing uh, the background. Uh, that's changed it but obviously we've got um, a colour over the top which is, uh, is not very uh, visible. So if we change it to say palm trees okay we've got palm trees down here we can uh, select from a reasonable range we'll see when we go to images and textures we can pull in files or accept what is there what is there is actually quite a good range of things and over the top of this we can apply gradients um, a wide variety of gradients basically shading light to dark dark to light okay so a range of things there <coughs> um, if we go to image or texture there's a, a much wider range here um, we can put glares on these so if we look at uh, this one uh, and apply say uh, a glare here This is an overlay over the top, which when we go into our options we can change. So let's have another look at glares, see what we've got. There's some uh, very interesting ones. Let's have a look at map of the world. Not going to see much of that behind our sheet, unfortunately. So let's have a look at a different one. Okay, so you, you can see that you can uh, get quite a range of um, effects. If we have a look at fill colour, uh, fill, co fill colour doesn't work for pictures, uh, but it does for uh, backgrounds. So if we go to a background here and choose, say, um, a red, pinky red. Okay, we get uh, fills there. So we've got um, our custom colours that we can select um, and have a look through our hue saturation, luminosity or red, green, blue or the hexadecimal. Um, okay, so that's fairly okay. We can get pictures from file um, and we can also look either our options here or here, uh, they both go to the same place. Um, general at the minute the background is fixed so if we just uh, slide this up and down you can see the the palm trees at the bottom are uh, fixed. But if we go to make them scroll then they're only there when we get to the bottom. Go back to that. Uh, glare. We don't have a glare at the minute, um, but it, when we put a glare, we can align it left, centre, or to the right and change the scale and the transparency of it. Uh, for the textures, uh, we can affect the blend mode, uh, normal soft light overlay. Be careful with soft light, sometimes it looks like the uh, texture is on, but you 
it doesn't look like the texture is on, but it is. It's just soft light and you can't see it. Um, transparency, again, you can change that. Um, colour weight and colour saturation when you have uh, a texture on. Um, and contrast. Uh, smart inverter, I haven't looked at. Uh, I guess you'd, uh, you'd look at the options there and see what you got. Okay, so that's um, the, uh, the background. Let's just change it to something a little uh, more interesting. Let's have a look at that. Uh, it's looking a little blue, isn't it? So let's have a look at um, being a little bit green. Okay, and uh, we'll leave it there. Going into part five, which is going to be the sheet.